and the pumps are now in. So the electrician was out here uh, two days ago and what we opted for is this is a Johnson pumps. This one is actually, I don't know if you can make it out down there, it's the secondary pump. This is not on a float switch. This would just be an emergency pump. You know, if we're getting overwhelmed, so I guess it's a what I call the pucker pump. If you got it and you know cycle this thing on from the helm switch, you got trouble on your hands. Anyway, I opted to go from 1,600 gallons per hour on this one to 2,000 gallons per hour, since um, the hose size was still one and an eighth um, uh, diameter. So there was no real change that needed to be made in the hose. Okay, so let's see if I can get this down here. And the <clears throat> bait pump is now installed as well. The live well pump rather is it's it's in and plumbed and behind it, I don't know if you can really see it, but that's the 2,000 gallon per hour rule uh, bilge pump on its float switch. So we opted to go ahead and replace everything. You know, the float switch itself, even though that float switch was technically a, the one that came out was only a year old. But if you're changing, you know, you're gonna get down in the bilge, change everything out, all the pumps, do it all. No sense in recycling. So this is what came out. This is the live well pump, the Bait Century 800. If you can kind of see it. Not bad condition. I've had this boat for six years. This was the pump that was in the boat when I bought it. Um, functions perfectly. I mean, we didn't really have any problem with it. And then this is the secondary pump, the Johnson's pump, the 1600 gallon per hour. I think you kind of see that also in fairly good condition although i did find you know if i plug the boat put the plug in uh disable the float switch or put a weight on it so it can't lift and then just pour water fresh water into the bilge to check this pump i always found that it just seemed to be weak for whatever reason i was never really impressed with how much water flow it pushed out so this was definitely on my mind to get a new one this is the Rule 2000 gallon per hour um, bilge pump that we just pulled out. Again, it's in it's, uh, fairly decent shape. It certainly functions. I'm going to hold on to these pumps because they're not broken. And then this is the, uh, the Rule Super Switch. It's, uh, I just put this in myself about a year ago. It was uh, just fine. Nothing wrong with it. I'm going to keep this one as well. So what we also did was the batteries. So these are the three Group 31 AGMs, they're interstate batteries. Got a pretty decent deal on these two here, and then this is another one, Interstate Group 31. So they were all just installed. Um, we took some time to use my Dremel tool on these uh, connectors and got all the old oxidation off. They've been coated with a good marine dielectric, dielectric grease, so they shouldn't have any issues. And then in here, Kind of there, that's the new uh, negative bus bar that I had her install and, and change in some of the wires as well. Um, last year, if you remember from the first video, the switch panel is all new. All the wiring and everything in that, we had that done last summer. Um, uh, she did a great job on that, had no problems, no issues with it. But we never got to the negative bus bar. Um, just time constraints and so forth, but came back down and did it um, to two days ago. So that's all in. And you can see the batteries are all green, 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 green. So I have to put these little tackle boxes back in their holes. They take up a lot of room once they're installed, you know, inside, inside. They just take up a lot of room. I, I really wish this is something that Contender had not done. I don't have any use for them. I've criticized this before because, you know, you've got rod holders here. If you've got rods in front of them, in order to be able to get to the tackle box and have any functional use out of them, you have to remove the rod, which is just stupid. 
All right, well, there's nothing I can do about that. So this is the last thing I wanted to show. So this is the bus bar, the negative bus bar that came out. And the funny thing is, is, is just look at how much oxidation, I guess even corrosion, is on this. So this is a lesson. You know, if you're in a really salty environment, the Caribbean, the Bahamas, South Florida, whatever, you got your boat outside, it's on a lift constantly. This is what the, you know, the elements are doing to you gradually over the years. So the one that went in to replace this, I used a single 20, 20 gang instead of these two tens. I don't know why they even did that. But look, these two, this one here, and this one here, the wires just pulled straight out. It's like, come on, contender, you didn't even get the crimp in. And when the wires came out, they were absolutely clean, completely clean and shiny. So I don't know, but the other ones had to be cut because these screws were so frozen on, you just couldn't, you can even see how deformed the screw heads got. So they just had to cut the wires and, and redo them. This part, not at all impressed with that, but I can guarantee you we don't have that problem now. So that's basically the size of it. I'm um, going to get my little tackle boxes back in and get her all zipped up, get her back into the water. I want to verify that my pumps are pumping as they should. No leaks, um, you know, when you turn on the live well and start pumping water, I want to make sure it's not leaking in there. But we should be good. That's, um, that's 4,200 gallons per hour capacity of, of pumping. I'm um, not saying that I have a lot of confidence, you know, if you get a hole in the boat or something where you're really taking on water, those, that's not going to be enough to keep up probably. I mean, there's this chart that shows what the flow of water is into a boat if, you know, with various size holes, and it's just astonishing how, how overwhelming it can really get. So, you know, you try to do everything you can from a safety standpoint and you know, keep your equipment good and in good operating condition and, and all of that, but you know, there's only so much you can do and and that's about the size of it. So these new pumps satisfies, you know, my wife's desire to have all of this redone. Um, as, as I've mentioned, everything that just came out was uh, there when we bought the boat six years ago. So now it's all new. Well, thanks. Thanks for watching. Hope this was a uh, little informative. If you have any comments, put them in the, you know, the comment below. Like, subscribe, notify, and we will see you again.